Howdy folks and welcome to Hawkmore Outdoors. And on this episode, we got a double unboxing. We got the Bear Creek Arsenal 300 Blackout, rifle upper, and a pistol upper. So, y'all stay tuned. Let's jump right into this unboxing. Like Hawkins said, we have a pistol upper and a rifle upper. Bear Creek Arsenal has come a long way with their packaging. These boxes are nicely put together. A lot of foam padding in there. Of course, you got your Screaming Bear sticker. But we're going to get these on the rifle and the pistol and see how they do. They're just your standard 300 blackout uppers. Let's get to it. What are the features of the 16-inch 300 blackout here? Standard flash hider on the front there. 16 inch barrel, 4150, one by eight twist. You have the standard M lock free float hand guard on there. It is a side charger. So you do have that feature. Just a solid uh, upper. Going real quick over the pistol upper here. This is a seven and a half inch barrel, one and eight twist. It is a 4150 like all the rest of them. A, their standard spiral muzzle brake there. M lock hand guard, and it is a side charger. Going to the first rounds of the pistol up here American Eagle 150 grain, just standard full metal jacket rounds. See how she goes. I do the first shots of this rifle upper, same American Eagle ammo. Gonna load up a garbage mag here. We got some Herders ammo, some Sig, Hornady, American Beagle. We got it all. Go ahead and load up some of this stuff. Different grain weights. Got some Subsonics, some Supersonics. Got it all. Let's try this pistol out first. Safety. All right, got the uh, couple different rounds here. We got some some of the Herder Subsonic, the Hornady, and the Six Hour, and the American Beagle. And we're going to do a quick garbage mag on the 16 inch upper. Just all different kinds of ammo, grain weights, Subsonic, Supersonics. See what we can do. Set them all. See. Half the fun with having a 300 blackout is suppressing it. So I put some herder subsonic ammo in there. Got my suppressor attached to the end. That YouTube won't let us film installing so let's uh, see how it runs like this yeah. try to rifle out with the uh, suppressor on there 200 grain herders so we see how she does lock back all good Bear Creek Arsenal reached out to us and asked us what caliber we'd like to do for review. And we decided to go out with the 300 Blackout. There's a couple reasons we decided on that. My personal reason, I just got a suppressor last year and 300 Blackout is an excellent caliber to suppress. So that's one of the reasons I went with 300 Blackout. Definitely a good suppressor host, all different grain weights, as I said, but it's definitely a good hunting round as well again you can play around with all the different grain weights figure out what the right round is uh myers taking out some deers with his 300 blackout back in the day and uh i've taken out a couple hogs with my 300 blackout uh definitely play around with the different uh, grain weights figure out which round you like i like the hornady gmx round really good round to hunt with very uh, hard hitting solid copper round but i'm thinking about making a nice coyote rifle with the suppressor on and stuff like that. I think 300 Blackout did the job on that as well. 
Want to thank Bear Creek Arsenal for sending these uppers out today. They ran like a top. We've got a lot of other videos planned with these things. You'll be seeing them in the future. If you want to save some coin on uh, 300 Black Oat Upper from Bear Creek Arsenal, use code Hawkmeyer. Go check that out. They passed all the tests here. The garbage mag, first rounds, and sub, the uh, suppressor tests that we did on them, passed with flying colors. But if you like this content, hit the like button, subscribe button. Thanks for all that you do. You have a good one.